My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Oh boy, we got a red on red 66 Chevelle SS396 with a four speed. And if you notice, the top goes down too. Also has power steering, power disc brakes. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all this specs, study all the information, study over 100 pictures top to bottom. And that's where you find prices on over 200 collector cars that we offer for sale. Go to volocars.com. If you enjoy watching these videos, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon. That way you're notified as the new ones are posted. But like I said, the top is down, so join me. Let's go for a spin. I bought this out of North Carolina. It's overall just a very nice car. It's not a body off frame, nut and bolt restored car, but it's just very nice. The underneath uh, is actually, in my opinion, exceptionally nice. The floors have the little bit of factory undercoat. They've been cleaned and then dusted with some nice black paint. So the floors look to be really nice and solid. Uh, the braces, all that looks to be really good. Original floor pans. Uh, the front end components also look very good. It looks like it has recent shocks and springs and ball joints and different components. Can't say they're brand new out of the box, but they all look nice and clean. Uh, been replaced probably not that long ago. Same thing in back, it's got new shocks, uh, the springs look new, bushings look new. Uh, it has a really nice dual exhaust system. I think this one has Flowmaster mufflers. It sounds real good. You'll hear it at the end of this video. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's nice clean Chevy orange. You can see a new fuel pump. Uh, it does have a four speed transmission. It's got the original 12 volt 331 rear end. Uh, brake system's been redone. They did upgrade it to disc. They didn't have disc in 1966. This one's been upgraded with disc. The hoses, brake lines, even the emergency brake cable, that all looks like it's been replaced. So underneath the car, cleaned up, restored, real nice shape. This is a factory red car, Regal Red with red interior, according to the trim tag. So it was born like this. The body is really straight. This hood fits perfectly square. Matter of fact, it lines up completely flush right here. And it is square, straight, both sides of the car, straight as a rifle barrel. The body gaps are real nice. And I already went around and looked and felt. I always feel for bubbles. There's one blister right down here at this corner. It's the only one I could find anywhere in the car. And in case I forget, there's a nick on the front edge of the hood that's been touched up. The body's straight, everything fits nice. Look how it fits nice and square and uh, beautiful. The red paint is just polished like glass. It's like I'm looking into a red mirror. I can see the, the writing on the insulation of our ceiling. Tail panel trim all looks really nice. The SS would be painted black like that. The bumper is re-chromed. 15 inch rally wheels, they look new, all the trim looks new, and has red line tires. Convertible top is white, it's in excellent shape. All the weather strips on the top frame was replaced. Door handles, can't say they're brand new, but they're nice and shiny. Same with the mirror, it's a bow tie mirror. Windshield looks new. This chrome up here is peeling a little bit. The rest of this is stainless. Uh, this chrome vent window frame looks good. Oh, here's a touch up I didn't notice earlier. Uh, someone's brush touched this right here. And then also the edge of this door has been touched up. So when they were putting this together or something, they must have had some issues and nicked it up and then touched it up with a brush. Uh, new cross flag emblems, has correct T3 headlights, new bumper, new emblem. Uh, the grill looks to be good original. Kept my wedding ring. There you go. 
Anyway, it's a 396 motor that's in here. We're told it was rebuilt. It does run strong. It has an Edelbrock intake on top, but it's painted orange, so uh, it blends in. And the motor looks fresh. All the nuts and bolts on the motor are new. Uh, new alternator, new valve covers and air cleaner, the chrome ones. Uh, has an HEI ignition system. The wires look new. It does have a replacement trunk floor, so it's all metal. Quarter panels were also spliced in up high. Under the trunk lid and the jam is painted gloss red. New weather strip, trunk mat. Uh, it does have a red line for a spare and a 15 inch rally. It looks like a new reproduction jack assembly. Door jams are nice. Weather strips are replaced. Window seals, these look new as well. Door panels have been replaced. Uh, carpet is replaced. Seats have been reupholstered. Does have the center console. It looks like a brand new clock, but it's not working. It's right twice a day. Uh, it has the correct chrome four speed shifter with the reverse lockout. Upgraded power brake system, it's all new, has a dual reservoir, uh, has power steering, the washers are hooked up, the upper hose is a reproduction hose and clamps, actually all the clamps are, are reproduction, the shroud alternator look new, hood insulation's new, the engine bay is a nice smooth metal painted a satin black, so it looks very fresh under the hood here. We actually bought this car a few weeks ago. Um, we're just now getting to it, but I did drive it home and it ran and shifted and performed real well. Shuts nice. The trim across the dash is nice. Also has the factory gauges in the dash. So this is not a perfect car. I pointed out a few little flaws, uh, but it's a very nice car. We are talking a red on red, real super sport, big block four speed convertible here. Uh, if it was perfect, it would be quite a bit more money than what we're asking. But as far as most people are concerned, they're gonna look at it and they're gonna see a brand new car. That's my impression. Go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways to contact the salesman if you have specific questions or concerns. They will help you with that. They will also uh, help get this delivered to your driveway and get you financed as well. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. That way you're notified as the new ones are posted. And like I said, it's ready to go. Take it straight to a car show. You don't even have to make a sign for it. Thanks for watching.